The odds you were ever going to be born are very small. We hear that a lot, but what does that actually mean? Starting with, who are you? Or more precisely, what is you? When people say the odds of you being born are low, they're referring to the odds your particular combination of DNA would ever form. However, your consciousness is not tied to your DNA. If I were to create a clone of you, your consciousness would not extend to the clone. You would be two distinct people. So why are you, you? Your consciousness is not only tied to your DNA that created your particular brain, but the atoms that make up your brain. In the show Ajin Demi-Human, some of the characters are immortal. All wounds heal no matter how severe, but they discover that they can still die. Not in the traditional sense where their heart has stopped beating and their brain would no longer function. Instead, the nature of their immortality is this. If body parts are dismembered, regeneration takes place on the largest remaining mass of the body. This is deadly. If you were to decapitate their head off, their body would grow a new one instead of regenerating a new body from the original head. This is death. The original conscious being inhabiting the body has died, replaced with a new one. This leads us to a very obvious statement. You are your brain, and therefore you is the specific collection of brain cells and atoms that make up your brain. The brain is a device by which mass can attain consciousness. If every atom in your skull right now was replaced with identical but different atoms, you will have died without ever knowing. A new you would take over in that moment and they wouldn't even notice that they had just been born. So, yes, the chance that you were ever going to be born is extremely low. From a purely atomic perspective, the odds that your brain would form with that particular set of atoms out of all the atoms in the universe is zero followed by about 54 zeros after the decimal point. This doesn't even account for the specific configuration of those atoms, or in other words, your DNA. Those very same atoms could have been used to create a very different brain. It would still be you as far as the mass that you were originally, but everything else about you would be different. How many atoms in your brain would I have to replace for your consciousness to change? How many atoms have already been replaced in the time that we've lived?